Welcome to day one of our pug challenge. Now this one is going to be a little bit of a choose your own adventure. We have two different tutorials on just day one and it's all about what type of tools you already have available and that is going to be specifically to am I drawing with a mouse today and or am I going to be drawing with a tablet. If you have a tablet, fantastic. That is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. I am still going to treat it just in case you're jumping on and this is your very first tutorial. I'm going to kind of go still go a little bit slower, but our goal here, since most people who have a tablet should be a little bit more experienced. I don't think people that are brand, brand new are running out and buying expensive tablets before they even learn the program. So I'm going to be focusing on a couple different things today. We're going to be going through the pencil tool. We're going to go through some settings that I think are going to be beneficial, some little things that each one of those settings do, and then we're really going to be still focusing on a two-step approach. We're going to be getting our lines down, and then we're going to be doing the, the cartoon brushes. So it's still going to follow along to our days. So today is all about just getting line work down. That is our inking process. Tomorrow will be all about adding on our brushes. So we're not going to do anything with pressure sensitivity today. So that's cool. So let's just do this. I'm going to hide all of my layers. So we can go through some of these settings. Now these are the settings that we're going to go through today. My recommendation, especially as you are learning, is have, I think the default is in the, right in the middle. I like having it nice and smooth. I think it gives less anchor points and I just think that most of the time if you are drinking coffee or a little bit nervous or if, it's, if you're sweaty or whatever and your hand's not doing it, it'll do a lot of the cleanup work for us if this is already high. Notice that we right next to it is the smooth tool. So if this is high, I think that we don't necessarily need that as much. Now we are gonna be keeping these selected. I'm gonna show you, and more than likely it'll, it'll happen, where it'll try and connect on us. So if that happens and it's happening a lot, we might come back and switch that off. So just be aware of, as we're going through this, if you notice that your lines are bouncing and connecting a lot, then that, that is the option that you want to turn off. Okay, so let's do this. I am going to zoom in. Let's just focus on our ear right now. Now, this is going to be all personal preference. I'm going to click on N, and again, is our pencil tool, is how big you want your image to be. It's a little bit different when we are talking from drawing with a mouse to drawing with a pencil, because with a mouse, usually I want to just see it, and it's a little bit easier. If I'm actually tracing along, sometimes... I personally like when my hand doesn't have to move all the way across my desk. Now what I want to just go through first as we are drawing, and I'm actually going to zoom out a tiny bit more, you're going to notice that you are probably going to almost go to scale, like what size piece of paper you normally like. So as you are drawing, a couple things. One, notice that this is still selected, so notice this is still blue. So if I come in, I don't know if you can see my little cursor change, I can connect the lines so as it is still selected, I can com come in and that's going to basically get rid of us having to come back through and join a bunch of lines later. What it's also going to do is allow us to deal with lines and segments so we don't get a bunch of weird smooth curves everywhere. So as I'm going through this, just go nice and even. I'm going to go on the process of let's just get the lines down. So as long as I'm close, I'm probably going to say that is probably pretty good. Get it down. And this tutorial, and you're going to probably figure out why we don't do this all the time, is it is probably some of the worst TV you'll ever find of just me tracing. And the demo is basically, go ahead, trace it. Knock your socks off. Now here's the only thing about as you're drawing, you might notice that they are getting more points connected. You could either A, just deal with it, or come in and just clean it up. It happens. So you're gonna notice a couple different things as you are doing the pencil tool. Number one, the trade-off is this is stupid easy. So anyone that's just got a mouse are going to be like, wait a second, that is 10 times easier than what I've been doing. And the answer is yes, that is true. But you might notice that there's some other little things that it's going to add points when you don't want. Let's do some straight lines. 
So there's a little bit more of a cleanup process. Oh. So this is a good little, so if I go Alt, Alt is our smoothing. That is another option, by the way. So it will say, do you want smoothing? So if I double click for our options, it will have Alt key toggles to smooth cool. So if you like that idea, you can have that on. I personally like it a lot. Now that's, uh, see, I knew we were gonna be able to get one. So that is keep the line selected. That is what could be happening. So before we got too carried away, if you're like, this thing is so annoying, it's gonna try and connect. So if I draw, 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 draw. Now just pay attention to your mouse and pay attention to if you're getting that little slash. So if it's giving you a slash, that means it's gonna try and connect those lines on you. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more. Now I find that the more zoomed in I am, the harder it gets. I will also, f I don't have a glove on or anything like that. So I think it, it sticks, my hand starts sticking as soon as I start moving to the edge of the tablet. I want that one to connect. And then just so everyone is aware, you can come in and just, just in case this is your very first tutorial, we can join segments later. Bing. This one should not connect. Now if I ended it right there, you're gonna notice that that line in the, the mouse will let you know with that little slash that it's going to try and connect for you. If you let go then, then it's definitely going to bounce for you. Bing. And we are just tracing. And I'm gonna zoom out. So notice that we're starting to get into bigger shapes. So if you're getting into bigger areas, my recommendation is to definitely zoom out. Other thing to pay attention to is my goal is to connect it right there. And take that back, we're not gonna get there. I wanna connect that one. Let's do this one longhand. I'm just gonna go A and I'm just right clicking and then I'm joining. More than likely there's gonna be another little goofy point somewhere in here. So I'm just gonna go minus and I'm gonna get rid of that one. You might have had a better tracing job than I did. All right, let's get this mouth done. So again, you're gonna notice some things. One, this is pretty fast. The trade-off is we might have to come in and do some cleanup. So this is just Shift C. Just pay attention that my left hand is still hanging out on the left-hand side of the keyboard. Also just pay attention to that as we are doing this, that all of the normal keypad, like my selection tools, the convert anchor point tool, all of those things are still available. So I don't have to be a hero and do everything with uh, the pencil tool in the, the tablet. So we are definitely gonna go pretty quick here, but you're gonna notice that as we come back through and clean things up, that might be where some of the time is. All right, so I'm on the pencil tool. I'm gonna hold down shift. You're gonna notice that that little icon, notice that that icon sh changed, so it's a straight line. Now I'm gonna zoom in so you guys don't yell already. I'm gonna go C. C is our scissor tool. There is our scissor tool. And all I'm gonna do is click on, so as soon as it goes, this is the, the eyebrow. As soon as it goes under that eyebrow, I'm gonna click on it. Let's just zoom out. And all I want is past here. So C, and I'm gonna click. So I'm gonna go V is the black arrow. And I'm going to delete control zero. What I'm looking for is what we can be doing with the pencil. I'm gonna zoom in. So we basically just have this little stuff left. Look how easy that was. 
I'm gonna do this in two, by the way. Boom. I'm gonna wait until I get my little slash. There it is, boom. Control C, so anytime it rounds on you, just be aware that either A, you can redo the line and or Shift C is our convert, which is under the pen tool. Come on through. Good, I'm gonna go select this one. I'm gonna go Shift C. I just want this to be a little bit of a sharper angle. And I can always come in and just start deleting points. So you can come through and modify, especially since we are getting pretty close here. Now the answer might be, couldn't you just do a circle right there? And the answer is yes. So let's put the mouse or the pen down and I'm just gonna come back through our ellipse. I am gonna zoom in. We've got nothing but circles left. Hard part is over. So I've got L is our shortcut. That is just the ellipse. I'm gonna hold down shift as well as alt option. Let's do another one. I'm just dragging these out and then I'm just gonna move it into position with my arrow keys. Oh, and I wasn't even close. Not even close on that one. All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna go Control C, Control F. Longhand version, just in case this is a early tutorial in your Illustrator career, is copy, paste in front. Now if you guys do paste, it'll just kind of randomly go. Now I'm gonna hold down Shift and Alt as I am pulling this out, and that's just gonna scale it, keep it in proportion, and it's gonna go scale it directly in the middle. I'm gonna do this again, Control C, Control F. Same thing, I'm gonna hold down Shift as well as Alt. Now Alt, what that does, just so everyone is aware, is it scales it from right there. So since these were all pasted in front, it's gonna be all scaling pretty much in a, an even format. All right, I'm doing space bar. The hand is our space bar. Now what I am looking to do is all of these circles above that horizontal line, I'm looking to just get rid of. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna click on C. C again is our scissor tool. And as long as I have these paths selected, No, I don't know why my smart guides aren't turned on. Usually that is a given. Shame, shame. So I'm gonna keep coming through. Let's just turn them on. Smart guides, I have no idea why those are off. Shame, right? Click. Click on C. And there'll be one other one coming through. Now, if you ever are saying, hey, what line am I looking for? Notice that I'm on black arrow. I just selected it, and all that's doing is turning back on my the selecting so I can see it, and then I can come in and basically use my scissor. The issue is, especially as you start getting into crowded areas, it's just not, you're not going to know what you're deleting. All right, control zero. Now, our goal, I'm just going to zoom into that eyeball so you guys can see it is I want to just be able to let's zoom in even more so you can see what's being highlighted. I just want this top and I want those to be deleted. Now let's just play devil's advocate. If for some odd reason this we don't we didn't snip on both sides, this whole circle will disappear. So if there's only one little snip, just pay attention to that it's still going to go all the way around. So what that snip does is it basically just think of it as cutting a piece of hair. It's gonna cut the stroke here, so we need to cut it on another end if we are looking to delete it. Good, I can, I'm can. i okay with leaving that there. All right, let's zoom in. This is all messy already, and I can already tell. It's bothering me. Let's clean it up then. So I'm first, there's an extra point, so I just clicked on minus. Get rid of that bad boy. I am just gonna grab this line. So I'm basically trying to get them over each other. And then I'm just gonna join those up. So that was white arrow, by the way. So notice I'm on my white arrow. I selected both of them. That was right click. And then drop down the join. 
Control zero. All right, we've got nothing left. This is too easy. Okay, L is the circle shortcut. Again, I'm holding down Shift and Alt. And we're just gonna keep on dragging these guys out. Same thing, keep your proportions. Now, if you get one that you like, notice that I'm selecting it. Control C, Control F. Again, that's just paste in front. Good. And just so you can see, if I go Control V, it just randomly pastes it. And now I gotta sit there and move it all around. So whenever you are moving stuff, especially with that black arrow, notice that we don't have fills. If this had a fill, I can basically just click in the middle and, and move it over. If and this is just a good learning moment. If I am trying to move just a stroke, I have to be basically directly on it. So you're gonna notice real quick that this is a much more dumb process if I don't uh, paste in front, where I gotta move it, I gotta move it all over the place. So that's why paste in front is gonna be the one you're gonna use the most. Control C, Control F. So again, just from this corner, I'm gonna hold down Shift, hold down Alt Option, drag that out, that was it. So that's way easier. So that's why you're gonna notice that we use that a lot more frequently. All right, you're gonna notice real quick, we need to use our scissor tool. Let's just scroll down, I'm just using my space bar. Now anything that's just above, notice it highlights, and then I can just get rid of it. So it'll say path. Now my smart guides are turned on extremely low, so you guys don't have to compete with the anchor point guides as well as hot pink lines shooting all over my screen. If you guys like the idea of having brighter smart guides, that is under preferences. Just drop down to smart guides. Notice I got I got a ridiculously low gray, and then you can just change that color up. I also have quite a few of these turned off today. So measurement, spacing, I have all of those turned out just because we're not going to be using them. Okay, and I'm just clicking on delete. Again, if this whole circle is getting deleted, that just means we cut on one side and then we didn't come over and cut it on the other side. Three more circles. How'd you guys do? Draw it out. I'm just going to go, let's just draw them out first and then we'll do it. Bing, and a little, little guy over here. I am just going to smush, do a little rotate. All right, control zero. So this is what I want to do. I want to grab my circles. I'm holding down shift, by the way. So I have them all selected. And this to toggle is our shift X. And it's just going to basically swap the stroke into the fill. That was it. Done and done. So definitely little things to be playing around with as you are doing this is one, if you are drawing and you say, hey, I like this better, wonderful, do it do it more. If I, so notice that we got this down very, very quickly. You're more than welcome to just plow through. Now I can come back and if I see anything that I want to modify, I might just take that extra time right now to just come back through and modify some different things. What we are going to be moving on to is adding on our brushes. So notice that all we really did is just get our line works down if you are modifying your settings. So let's just do a little boogie check here. If you thought, if you had a lot of things bouncing, turn this off. Okay, so hopefully you didn't try and, you know, fight all the way through it. So just turn that off. We can always come back and join later. So that is an option for you. If you like the idea of smoothing. I didn't really go through it because we didn't really need it. All right, I'm done yapping. Let's have some fun on the next tutorial. So again, when we are moving on to the next one, we are gonna be using our cartoon brushes. So if you have not already downloaded those, this would be a good time to go back to our resources. Just download the cartoon brushes tinted and then you will be ready for the next tutorial. So I will see you on day number two adding our cartoon brushes.